If you just want that matte look, this is what you want. This sunscreen has not left my bag. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm April. I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist and talk about all things skincare. Back in for an M of all things skincare. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe to the channel because we're here every week, every single week, talking about skincare. You guys have been asking me. I've got DMs. I've got messages. I've got comments. Please tell us good sunscreens for oily skin. And I understand with the influx of so much sunscreens in the market, it's so hard. If I didn't know what I knew, how I would be able to shop. <laughs> if I just was like a regular consumer, if I didn't have the knowledge, it would have been so hard. So props to you guys for even attempting to navigate this inundating space of just so much skincare in the market bravo that's all i have to say but today i'm here to make your life a little bit easier just a little bit by recommending these sunscreens that i've pretty much spent all day finding for you guys when it comes to oily skin it's good to have oily skin actually in your youth because the older you get the drier you get so it keeps you young but unfortunately oily skin can also lead to acne prone skin because when your pores start getting really clogged up it can cause you to break out it's just kind of annoying when your face is like super shiny or if you wear makeup and you're makeup literally doesn't even last long because your face is literally just like spilling oil so yeah it's a great thing in the long run but when it's happening in full effect it's not fun what i was looking for when i looked at all these sunscreens was sunscreens that could be mattifying or containing uh, silicones and more specifically silicones in the cyclomethicone family silicones in the cyclomethicone family are silicones that can easily evaporate meaning it delivers those active sun filters that help protect us from uv rays and then just evaporate and doesn't sit on the skin and add to more oiliness most of the other sunscreens that I thought of the video had a lot of oils and added ceramides and things that could potentially exacerbate oily skin. So I broke down this video into two categories. In total, we have about seven products. The first three are the ones that really would leave your skin very mattifying. It basically acts like almost like a mattifying primer on the skin. You almost feel like you didn't apply anything, but it is actively on your skin. And the other category will give you more of like a dewy finish, like a dewy glow, almost like a I'm awake kind of glow, but you're not oily. Very clear difference. First product in this category is La Roche Posay SPF 60 Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. It's ultra light, it's oil free. The common ingredient, the three that I'm gonna recommend in this category have is cyclopentasiloxane, which is the most common silicone in the cyclomethicone family. This silicone easily evaporates, it's very mattifying, you use literally no grease to this because you have oily skin, your skin will uh, produce oil as you go about your day. So if you just want that matte look, this is what you want. Super lightweight, I really loved it, it looks amazing. You're not gonna have any complaints with this one. The second one that I have here is this one by Dermatology is their Broad Spectrum SPF 45 sunscreen. This one's a hybrid sunscreen so it has zinc oxide and octanoxate. I really like this one because it reminded me of the Elta MD SPF 46 and that's because it also contains niacinamide. You guys know I love niacinamide especially if you have sensitive skin. Niacinamide is great because it helps to control oil which you want as someone with oily skin. It also helps to kind of soothe skin so people that experience sunscreen burning sensation wouldn't have that problem with this one because it does soothe your skin while obviously protecting your skin from UV rays. It also has cyclopentasiloxane for evaporating benefits while delivering the benefits of protecting your skin from UV radiation. The last one in this category I actually don't have here with me but I really love the ingredients and it was super inexpensive so if you're on a budget this one might be perfect for you. It's also a K-Beauty brand skincare. It's from Cosrx. It's their Aloe Soothing Sun Cream SPF 50 PA++++. I love that it's PA++++ because it offers additional protection against UVA rays which is what causes a lot of tanning which people of color tend to experience more so i love when sunscreens contain that pa plus 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 factor of course it contains cyclopentasiloxane as well as no oils to really help to prevent any extra greasiness and really just offer protection to oily skin without causing additional oiliness now going into our next category these ones give you more of a dewy finish more of that like i look up like this but i'm like glowy finish okay so let's get into it first one i recommend is this one by cetaphil very affordable option here for you guys is the daily facial moisturizer spf 35 sunscreen and it says it's for combination skin but most combination skin people will gear towards more oily skin at least i do it's a chemical sunscreen and i love that it has minimal ingredients it won't clog your pores it contains little to no oils and it really just offers protection especially also for sensitive skin so really great option for you if you're in a budget next one's from la roche posay this one is their face spf 60 sunscreen it's oil free so absolutely no oils it will give you another fully matte finish but it also contains silicones albeit not silicones that easily evaporate but 
silicones are known to have somewhat of an evaporating property but it's good enough to give you that sort of gluey finish like you talked about so it's a little thicker than the light one that i talked about earlier for the other category but it's still very very beautiful on the skin second to last one i'm going to talk about i also don't have with me it's a k-beauty sunscreen as well it's the beauty of Joseon sun relief spf 50 pa plus 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 so four pluses even more protection against uva rays amazing for melanin skin very affordable it also has niacinamide rice extract to help with its brightening properties reduce oil production and hyperpigmentation and all the amazing things that we know the niacinamide for i haven't tried this sunscreen but if you have definitely comment below beauty of juicy and if you're watching definitely send me a sample i would love to try it out but just from the ingredient list i know you're not going to regret this sunscreen last sunscreen i've literally been loving so much this sunscreen has not left my bag it is a water-based sunscreen which is what most of the sunscreens we talked about are but this one is very specific water-based which you want for that dewy glow that less oiliness this one is the Innisfree free daily uv defense sunscreen broad spectrum spf 36 now this one also contains that cyclopentasiloxane but i didn't add it to the other category because it does contain other oils that could potentially offset the action of that cyclopentasiloxane it looks amazing on the skin i mean this sunscreen just makes me feel like i just i'm ready to take on the day my skin is just happy after i put it on and i absolutely love it but yeah that's it if you have any skin and you have any other recommendations please 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 comment below i'd love to check it out and talk about it in another video with you guys and just share whatever sunscreen that you've been loving i don't mind but whether it's oil-based or not oil-based i love just checking out sunscreens thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in my next one bye to say